ladies. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. Um, and this video I wanted to talk to y'all about birth plans and having um, the right perspective as Christian women and why for whatever reason this is actually something that is not talked about um, as much as I think it should be um, among women of faith. And so um, I just wanted to be open about it and talk about it with uh, with you and I hope that you received this well and I hope that is an encouragement to you and helpful to you. Um, I think a lot of times we as women um, get really excited about our birth plans and I think that's wonderful and I think it's great and um, I encourage you to if you know a route you want to go and to just go all in and to get as educated as you can, talk to other women who maybe did the same thing, um, and prepare yourself physically and emotionally for that. Um, but at the same time, I think we we really get on the bandwagon of that plan A and what we really want, and we become emotionally invested in that. Um, and I don't think we speak up enough as women to really encourage each other that we need to become educated um, and prepared and realistic in all aspects and so what I mean by that is unfortunately I see women who maybe go the natural route and want their want to have their child completely naturally um, no medication and you know have them vaginally or whatever and at the last minute something goes wrong and they have may have to have a c-section and I see women become depressed or feel like they were you know a failure and that it was just a defeat for them and um, I just want to give you perspective in that, um, just not to become emotionally attached to what you want. And I think scripture teaches that, and I think as Christian women we know that the Lord um, has the final say and He is in control. And that we should encourage each other more to, um, I think, fully prepare for whatever He may have for us. I think um, out of respect and out of honor for Him, and He gives us common sense and he tells us in his word that you know we need to be prepared and I think we can honor him and respect him um, in, in preparing our hearts to receive whatever he may give us and what an, what an, whatever answer he may give us and so I think in um, learning more knowledge and wisdom and maybe talking to other women who've had c-sections um, I think a lot of times um, women get really excited about you know having their child vaginally and they talk to other women who've done the same thing and they kind of in the back of their mind know that c-section is possible and then they might do some light reading on it think about it for a minute and then they kind of leave it at that um, but I'd really encourage you to really dig dig deep and to learn more about it maybe ask your doctor um, ask a friend you may know that has had a c-section and really um, educate yourself on that and prepare yourself for that just for whatever um, could happen I think that um, as mothers that is a huge thing especially in labor and delivery to be prepared for yourself and for your baby and to be in the best state emotionally you can be so that in the last minute if something has to change mentally you can just switch gears and you know but you know you're not as scared or unsure and you feel confident about it because you prepared in advance and so I think this is something that um, needs to be talked about more and encouraged more is to learn about you know all aspects of labor and delivery and how birth can go um, so my mom always told me growing up in so many parts of my life to not put all your eggs in one basket and I think there's so much wisdom in that saying um, and so yeah I just I think we should talk about this more and encourage each other and I hope that um, this video has been helpful to you and encouraging to you and um, I wanted to leave you with this passage um, Jeremiah 17 7 through 8 it's been really encouraging for me and just a really solid passage um, and it's helped me in my process of thinking about this um, and it talks about trusting in the Lord and um, just leaning on him talks about a tree and its roots that are planted deep and spread out in the soil and how when you know trials and the heat comes 
it is not swayed, it is not deterred, because its hope is in the Lord, and its trust is in the Lord. And I think um, we just need to encourage each other to have the big picture perspective uh, when it comes to birth and delivery and that whole process. Um, so I hope that your birth plan that you have um, goes the way you have been praying for it to, and I hope it is an easy um, process for you. And if not, I hope that you can receive that in the best way possible. And I think we can oftentimes use that to, um, to an advantage and to glorify God, because even if it does go a different way, we can use our circumstances and experiences to maybe encourage another mom who might be going through the same thing, um, or just actually talk about it and um, encourage other mothers um, just to become educated um, about every, every aspect. So I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to talking to y'all later.